Good morning! Days with Jordan the Lion! Yep! Last night's event, it was so hot and sunny that they gave everybody gold frame sunglasses, and I mean everybody in the entire wedding. I grabbed a pair. Actually, I grabbed two pair. They had a ton of them left over. Only downside, it was an Indian wedding, like East Indian wedding. And on the side, since it took place in Indio, it says India to Indio. Whatever. As you can tell, it's an early morning because... How often do you see my hair look that bad? Sometimes it looks bad, but not that bad. I woke up about two minutes before the Bengals game started. I just flipped it on, got the coffee. Where's the thumb? Boom. Got the coffee. I've got Elvis. Only thing I don't have is Jaw. Jaw spent the night at the uh, Tripoli household last night, and I'm going to go get him in a little bit. Miss that little guy. It's going to be a fun day. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Look who's home! Daddy's buddy's home and he's eating salmon. I brought you some salmon from last night, didn't I? I missed you, buddy. Good to see you, Jaw. I'm taking Jaw out for his walk right now. And this woman has been, like, changing poses on the corner. And I, I'm starting to think she's trying to start a prostitution ring in my neighborhood. It's really bizarre. Keeps just looking around, shifting and poses and weird. Oh my gosh. There's just no end to what you'll see in my neighborhood. There's a sale over there with about at least 20 wigs for sale. At least 20. I'm not even going to go over and look and entertain this, but they're, they're literally set up on the overpass. Oh, what am I? Who am I kidding? I am going to go look. guy's opened up shop. Well, he doesn't have any green sunglasses, but he had pretty much my sunglasses in yellow. Well, what's crazy is in, as I was in search of one of our locations for today, and one that I recently found and am really excited about, it took me up a road I've never been in Whitley Heights, because it's a one-way and you have to enter from Coanga, which I never do. I usually walk. And over here, it's got an original sign, or a unique sign. How cool is that? Any iris? Another one of those walkways that take you all the way down to the street I never knew about. Cool. There's one as well as one that goes up here. And I'm going to take this because I'm wondering if this might take me to where I'm actually looking for. Because where I'm looking for... Look at that. That's cool. What I'm actually looking for is not on Iris Place, it's on Iris Circle. And it seems like Iris Circle was right straight through, possibly here. And it's pretty crazy because, like I said, I recently found this address and it's one of my all-time favorite kind of subjects, so... It's interesting that it's up a street that I've never been in before and basically takes you along the back of all these houses. See that? Basically in these people's backyard. Alright, let's see where we are now. See the Hollywood sign way out there in the distance? Looks like we are just about here. Yeah, here's the transition from Irish Drive to Irish Circle. Bam! There it is. I have been a William Powell fan for about 10 years, so it's really interesting for me to finally find this house. This was William and Carol Lombard's house together in Whitley Heights. Now, I have to give a lot of credit to these two because 
This is actually what sparked my fascination with black and white movies, which eventually um, led me to silent movies, which led me to, you know, just loving great cinema. Was I was unemployed at one point, and at that same time, the LA bus and transit system went on strike. So I was looking for jobs, but I had to do it somewhere that I could walk to. And it was really tough. It was been the toughest time of my life ever to look for a job. And I'm just surveying the place. Um, it was the toughest time I'd ever had in my life looking for a job. And um, I started going to the library every day because I didn't have internet at my house. And um, I started renting movies there. And one of the first movies that I rented that really blew my mind was My Man Godfrey. And to this day, My Man Godfrey is my favorite movie of all time. Now, and it won Best Picture of 1936. Um, I do believe that I do believe that Gone with the Wind, in my opinion, is the best movie of all time, but My Man Godfrey is my favorite. Well, here are a few of the pictures that I was able to find of the couple inside. Looking pretty harmonious. There's the fireplace from the inside. And that prominent front window you can see up there in the top. Now, here's a picture I found recently that was posted on a real estate website for a rental of the house. But My Man Godfrey is my favorite. It's just the funniest, the most charming, the wittiest, everything about it I love. And what's crazy is that Carol Lombard and William Powell star in that together. And they were divorced already. That movie came out in 1936 and they were divorced in 34 or 35, so they'd already been separated for a little bit of time at that point. And truth be told, William Powell's career was kind of in the decline right then. And so, uh, since Carol was actually doing really well, she was so funny that her movies were doing extremely well, she actually helped get William Powell that part and helped resurrect his career. And he won, you know, just, he won everyone's heart over with that movie. And it's a fantastic movie. If you've never seen it, go get it. Now, Carol, eventually, they did split up, and the reason they split up, from all I can understand, is she was William Powell's second wife. He was considerably older than her. I want to say he was about 40 when she was in her mid-20s, and it, it, she just liked to go out. She wanted to go out and dance and go to clubs and stuff, and he just saw that as, like, trite, and because he had been there, he had just been, you know, he was much older than her and was just over that part of his life, and... So they ended up splitting up. She got a divorce and then eventually fell in love with Clark Gable and married Clark Gable. I see. So you closed your eyes and the man was Godfrey. It was wonderful. I didn't even mind the smell. <laughs> well, it's very convenient to take a trip abroad without leaving the kitchen. Oh, you have a wonderful sense of humor. I wish I had a sense of humor, but I never can think of the right thing to say till everybody's going home. <laughs> Do you mind if I talk a little bit while you uh, catch your breath? Uh, that would have been their front door. And, uh, yeah, watch one of their movies. They actually made two movies. I think one was called No Man of Her Own, and the other was, uh, of course, My Man Godfrey, which is just amazing. I walked around the side, and I think the lady, that, the person that lives there is outside, so I don't want to disturb them too much, but it's just a cool place, cool history to it. What's funny is I just cut up through that big walkway, walked all around, just to find out that I accidentally had passed the house and I was parked too houses past it so I walked all the way around the cul-de-sac and ended up back where I started but yeah the people who live there were actually outside like having coffee on the side and uh and they saw me and I was like oh I don't mean to bother you I just I know there are like some famous movie stars that used to live here and they're like oh yeah Clark Evil and Carol Lombard and I'm like no it's actually William Powell I said I just want to see if there was any pictures or if you'd heard any stories before you moved in and they said no, nothing was related to them. There are no pictures. They said we have a few books that came with the house, but there was nothing else other than that. But pretty historical house. Pretty cool. You know, just one of those places I've always wanted to see. I actually, I know they lived in an apartment on Havenhurst for a short time, but that might have actually been one of them lived there when they moved out. I don't, or before, like when they first started dating, but that was their house while they were together. And I think they were only together for like 
one or two years, not very long. As I was walking by, I saw this and I was just like, that looks just so classic. There's old locks on there. It's kind of a memorial spot right in the middle of kind of where a house would have been. Interesting. When's the last time you saw a garage door that looked like that? Wow, check out that Halloween display. That's getting into the spirit of things. Before I finish the vlog up tonight, uh, I watched something pretty cool on YouTube that I thought I'd pass along for anybody who's an actor or anyone who has an interest in acting or anyone who just likes Jim Carrey. Um, go look up Jim Carrey in the Actors Studio on YouTube. It's about 35, 36 minutes long. It's really cool, really interesting. He um, gives a lot of great insight, tells a lot about how he came up with his characters for like Ace Ventura and some of the things that he's done throughout his career and how he approaches them. So it's really, really interesting and I think anyone who likes either Jim Carrey or the um, process of developing a character, I think you get a lot out of it. Vlog over.